we have the um, aorta. And then down there we have the celiac trunk. And at the celiac trunk, it separates into the uh, splenic artery, which goes to the spleen and returns to the uh, hepatic portal vein through the splenic vein. And the, then you have off the celiac trunk, you have the left gastric artery, which goes to the stomach, and the right gastric artery comes off of the common hepatic artery. And um, so the left and right gastric arteries meet in an anastomosis of the stomach, and they return to the uh, hepatic portal vein through the gastric vein. So, and then off the celiac trunk, you also have the common hepatic artery, which goes straight to the liver. And um, so then you have the superior mesenteric artery, which is down there. And that will go to the small intestine and return to the hepatic portal vein through the superior mesenteric vein. And then you have the inferior mesenteric artery, which you can't see on this diagram. Just down there. <laughs> yeah. And that will go to the large intestine and return to the common, or the hepatic portal vein through the inferior mesenteric vein. So then um, after that, we have the liver. So all the blood pretty much meets up at the liver. And from there, you have, it will go back to the heart through the hepatic vein, then to the inferior vena cava, and then to the heart, and it, the whole process will start over.